In this video, we'll look at whether copper 2 nitrate, that's CuNO3-2, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that overall, copper 2 nitrate is an ionic compound, but within the polyatomic ion, this nitrate ion, the bond between the nitrogen and the oxygen atoms, those bonds, those will be covalent. So we find copper on the periodic table, that's a metal, and then we have nitrogen and oxygen. So we have a metal and then two different nonmetals. Metal plus nonmetals, that's almost always going to be an ionic compound. Because it's ionic, we should really think about the charges on the ions. So we have our copper here, and then we have the nitrate ion. The nitrate ion, that's always going to be a one minus. This whole ion here, we actually have two of them. Each one is going to be one minus. So we have two of them, we have that two minus. Copper has to be two plus. That's why we call it copper two. So we have the positive copper ion and then two negative nitrate ions. Positive and negative, they attract. That gives us the ionic compound for CuNO3-2. Let's talk briefly, though, about the nitrate ion. So we said nitrogen, that's a nonmetal. And then oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. So when we have nonmetal plus a nonmetal, we end up getting a covalent compound. This is also called molecular. So within our nitrate ion, we have covalent bonds. The nitrogen and the oxygens, they're bonded covalently. But overall, for the copper 2 nitrate, this compound here, this will be an ionic bond because we have our positive copper ion, our copper 2 ion, and then the two negative nitrate ions. This is Dr. B answering the question whether copper 2 nitrate is ionic or covalent. It's overall ionic with covalent bonds within the polyatomic ion. Thanks for watching.